Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. It's Sunday morning and where are we going today? To a market. We are off to a market in Sant to go and pick up some bits and bobs before our guests arrive this afternoon. And it's a food market, not a wine fair or a book hunt. Food. <laughs> 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 garlic. <laughs> How much do you love garlic? Um, not anything like you. <laughs> We've stopped on a market break for a minute and what are we waiting for? Well you said let's stop for a coffee but we both seem to have ordered beer. <laughs> it just came out of my mouth like that. <laughs> I don't know why you picked this place judging by its name. Very salty. Mm. It reminded me of someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has just gone 12, hasn't it? <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I found over the years it's the kind of break that men enjoy from shopping. Well, normally best if you leave me here and you go and do the shopping. Yes, master. This is the bit where I should get him to say cheese, isn't it? <laughs> we are now awaiting the imminent arrival of John and Sue Luff. This is going to be good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah, lovely sunny morning and it's time. It's time to begin. It's time to start. Ah, yes, it is. So we're in the Maison de Maitre in the middle floor and I've got good friend here, John, working away on what we now know is one of my least favourite jobs. I, do, I don't mind it, it's just there's a lot of it to do and so he's volunteered his time and expertise. He's going to show me where I've been going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Let's see how much glass ends up broken. So whilst the man up there is beavering away and regaling me with stories of ladder health and safety, I've uh, decided to sit down on the floor and pretend to start wiring in some sockets in this room. So uh, we'll see how far I get. Getting warm. 
<clears throat> there you have it, the first socket is fitted in this bedroom. So let's go and have a look at what... Is it live, Doug? <laughs> no, it's oh, not, not, not connected. The, the socket's fitted, but no. Um, well, I don't think we've got any cause to complain at this window so far. It's good having a perfectionist come and do some work for me. I'll take all the credit for it in due course. And as it's not been caught on camera, no one will ever know it wasn't me. We should do a little channel, John. <laughs> <laughs> window puttying. You'd be surprised at how many window puttying videos there are on YouTube. I bet there is. Well, there we have it. Socket number two in the room is fitted. And John's working on his third window. He's saying I'm slow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful job. So whilst John and I have been slaving away upstairs, Claire's been doing some painting with John's wife, Sue. And aren't they doing a beautiful job? Look at that. Instant change into, wow. Look at that. You've all seen the before pictures. So here's the dewing, getting on the way to the after. Obviously that's this side, there's the other side as well, so... We might need to go and buy more paint. You're having fun, Sue? I certainly am, it's going very fast. But John's come down and he's insisted on <laughs> showing them how to do it, I think. <laughs> Doing the little bits that have been missed. <laughs> <laughs> I did check the tin of paint and it says apply between 10 degrees and 25 degrees centigrade and we're only at 32 so it's not far outside the parameters. Are you taking this in ladies? <laughs> should be should have a sign caution man at work. <laughs> Out to town to run runners. Don't worry, Sue, you're, you're not in shot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the ladies seem to have worked their magic and got mojitos. John and I are on... Um... Samples. <laughs> and the verdict is... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> foreign muck. <laughs> it's certainly foreign. <laughs> well, the ladies made a start on the painting yesterday. Um, We've come out fairly early today to try and get it um, finished off before the temperature rises um, because it was getting too hot yesterday for it to work. So I've got John up the ladder doing one side and I'm doing this side. And, oh, it's getting hot so I don't know how much longer we'll be able to do it for but uh, we'll do what we can. Well, this morning marks a, a very special arrival. One man 
Any shutters? Don't <laughs> <laughs> ask me again. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of like father, like daughter, but the reverse is happening in our house. Mike's gone shutter crazy. Claire and Nick's louvre doors. Claire and Nick's front doors. And now Jill and Marios's shutters. Would you like to say a word about shutters, Mike? Yes. Yes? I can't say it. This is a piece of wood that has come off the shutter that was completely finished. There, if you can see, there is 89 joints in the hole of one shutter. If any of you people buy a chateau, and you have shutters like this, and they are broken, do not ring me, please. <laughs> I'm just hoping it, that it hasn't broken it. Coming up here. So oh. these, these are the ones for... They're your front door. They're the front door. And these, these ones here are for... Up here on the Mace under Matra. Yeah. Your dad's undercoated one. Lovely. It took oh, hours. <laughs> to do it. Hours. <laughs> to do it. Hello. Off granddad. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, this is that much bigger than the original. I'm hoping. It's all right, but I've had to, the, these are all the original bits, but yeah. those two bits are the new bit. Uh, but fitting all these bloody things. Yeah. Take our, but I've glued in every one of these things. And then I, I thought, right, right, I'll put that up there. Yep. So Claire has made us an absolutely lovely paella for lunch. Well done, Claire. Well done, Claire. Cheers. 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 And it and it is baking. What temperature are we? We are Scorchio. One of our early episodes showed us finding this in the attic, which we're not quite sure what it is. We have somewhat of an expert on these I'm matters. Not <laughs> well, someone who knows more someone than us. More of an expert than any of us. Um, don't Your diagnosis, it. please. It looks like it's been fired. What's inside? Oh. Uh, no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no money in there either. So. <laughs> but this hasn't been fired. What's that? This is a shell. Oh. That's only the propellant. Oh. This hasn't been fired. So you fired. drop that, it goes bang. Might do. I don't, I don't know. It depends what, what it's got. But it's got a winding fuse here. I'd be very careful with that. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Really? 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 No, 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 this is a big bang. This is about 30 mil or 20 mil or something. It's a big round. Well, didn't you trace this back I the to... Up on the internet and it was like a World War One. That... How it says something like See that. these bands? Mm. They're the rifling bands. If it had been fired, they'd have twists in there where it's gone through the barrel. Okay. That hasn't been fired. That's da or potentially dangerous. <laughs> yeah. So, so don't, don't drop it. No, don't drop it. I would actually <laughs> throw it out the window. Be careful. Yeah. Steady. After lunch, and we've decided that it's a great opportunity, isn't it? After a few drinks, to try and move this safe out of the breakfast room. <laughs> so we're we're currently. Oh. <laughs> Devising... It's a disabled ramp now. It's a disabled ramp. We're, we're working out how to get this out of here... Safe. Safely. Safely. <laughs> With spectators. <laughs> and flora. Yes. Okay. Keep it coming. 
keep it coming, keep it coming over. Right, now very gently with control, let's wear this. Gin. Gin. Gently, gently, gently. Gin. Hey, Tom. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Has everybody got their feet? Back out here. Back doors, Missy. Back floor, come on. Right, that's it. Turn. We're making this up as we go along, aren't we? Let's turn it nice and very. Right, a rotation, this one. One, two, three. Yeah. Right. You've got to push it lower. One, two, three. Come on, that's finish it now. Hang on, I'm not on it. You can't push down. Hang on. Two. Okay. Hang on. Two. Yes. Didn't even need that bit of wood. Burn you. And a little scoot to the left. Well done, everybody. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in the bottom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have they been in? No. No. They've been in. The, they've not been in. I bet they, there's a drawer in the bottom. They've not been in. Yeah! Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> We've still got to get it there. <laughs> Keep it coming. Uh, let's go into the mix. Can I get that? Yeah. Right. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel so empty. Oh. Right. This one. And next way. One down. Bye. Drink to come. Drink. <laughs> <laughs>gate john's just unbolted these designs so we're just gonna see if they actually come off so you ready you're gonna knock it go on, go on, go on. oh my god oh wow <laughs> it came off <laughs> <laughs> ready for the other one <laughs> uh, yes john wow and you can actually see the color of what was once there So we're down near the river near Tyborg today and we've just stopped for a quick pint of beer. Yummy. I'm here today in the shutter workshop, however, I'm not painting shutters. I'm doing something else. And I'm painting these ornate panels that are on the front of the gate posts that John and Nick got off yesterday. And this is my before. And this is my first coat. It's uh, it's like an, a silver, but a very dark silver at the moment. So we'll uh, wait and see how they both turn out. So just a little job we're gonna do this morning. Um, there's from this tree, one branch that you can see going and it's rubbing along the top of the laundry um, so my learned uh, second lumberjack friend here and I are going to take that down he's trained in the operation of ladders so we're not happy with the rope but we're going for it anyway
Sorry about that bit. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, I've got a bit more there. Yeah. Yeah, just a bit there. Okay. Right, we'll put in the right end. Gravity working. So, another little job that I'm going to crack on with now. All along the gutter line, the ivy's been growing. Um, I don't think there's any birds nesting there anymore. They've, I think, all fledged. So we're going to get up the ladder, get the ivy out from where it's growing up into the roof space and uh, yeah, trim that back. John wanted to play so I've let him do the last <laughs> bit, take the credit for finishing it off. <laughs> I think he's doing a roof inspection at the same time for me. <laughs> so this week I'm going to show you how to make something quick and easy that tastes delicious. Um, we went to a market on Sunday and I bought garlic. I love garlic, it's so nice. So the first thing that you'll need is some garlic. So for this, you just need three things, garlic, olive oil, and salt. I'm using Malvin smoked salt. And yeah, the garlic, ideally, the bigger, the better. And I'm gonna start by cutting the tops off the garlic. And you want something that looks a bit like this. And now you want to pop them in an oven proof dish and you want to take your olive oil and I'm just gonna give a real good glug over each of these. And I'll just soak it up like a sponge. Go. I'm going to take a nice pinch of salt and I'm just going to run these over the tops of the garlics. It's a grey paint day today by the way. <laughs> so that is all you need to do and I have preheated my prehistoric oven to 200 degrees. And I'm just going to pop these straight in. And I'm going to let them roast for probably 15, 20 minutes tops. And about 20 minutes later, I'm going to pull these out of the oven and they should look like this. Slightly caramelised and gooey and with the garlic starting to pop out of the bulbs. And now you can either eat them while they're still warm and use a knife to scoop out all of the cloves and all gooiness. Or you can wait until they are chilled and you can spread them over bread and it is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm back in the shutter workshop this week and I'm working on 
uh, some louvred shutters that I showed you last week. Um, I've done three coats on one side of each and it's magnificent. I do believe John Luff, the painting fairy, has been in the workshop this morning and done some work for me. Good start to the day. And I think my conclusion is absolutely brilliant. Heck of a lot better. So that's the wood finished. So the next job will just be to give that bit a bit of a light sanding and then it can all be painted. Oh, brilliant. The other thing that I'm also cracking on with um, is painting these shutters that my dad Mike made for our side of the house because these ones uh, were for our front door which is PVC and they'd completely rotten where that side of the house gets the brunt of the weather so these lovely new shutters as you can see here are being painted as well. I've also had my great helper in here this afternoon Sue on shutter duty <laughs> <laughs> the other morning we got up and Sue and John had done basically finished the gates um, we all did have a chip in yesterday afternoon again and we just went over it once more and redid everything uh, as you saw the front decoration came off the front of the gate posts or the gate panels and we're just uh, putting them back on now however so while Nick's holding this piece of heavy metal, <laughs> we've just put on the back the date and who we uh, who painted the gates this time. <laughs> oh, no, actually, really, bottom one is going to make, make my day much easier. Right, bottom one there, mate. Keep in there. Okay, start with the top. I'm going to thump the top one. Okay, top one is thumped. I've got this one as well. Yeah. Do that and then I'll do the other. Let me just borrow a little yeah. bit of purchase first. And just strip that last nice thread off there we go. Just need your knee on it, the last one, Nick. It's almost there. Knee on. There she comes. So you do well with that little arcus brush too. Yeah, that tiny little brush for the bottom bits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Love. Thank you, Nick. That's Thank you, Sue. <laughs> wow. That looks good. Are you ready for this week's big shutter reveal? It's just the top floor here this week, but here we go. One, two, three. Ta-da! The sun's shining, the shutters are on now, and only a few more sets to go. At least there's only one more set of Louvre now. Oh, that's so good. Yay! Hi! Hi! Welcome to Wine of the Week. <laughs> As you see, we've got John and Sue with us still, and uh, this week's wine is actually was given to John, so he's not actually splashed out any money for it. Uh, and it's called the Governor. Uh, it's from Spain. 
<laughs> Where do your friends live, John? Nerja. There we go. You heard it there first. So to John's friends in Nerja, uh, thank you very much. We'll open that and see if it's any good. And if it isn't, John bears no responsibility whatsoever. So we've had a busy week and we have had help. Um, it's refreshing to have some visitors who actually, no, Nice to see everyone who we have this year, but uh, these are these these are you know well you can yeah. see the progress for yourself. So thank you very much. It's uh, be lovely to have you here, and thank you honestly for the help. And we really will leave. <laughs> yes, he, he said he was going to bring me some beer, which he did, but then promptly drank most of it <laughs> with my help. Of course. So, um, if you've enjoyed this week's episode, please click the like button. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please click subscribe. You can also obviously find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter or our website, which is www.theexpatbutchers.com. And, uh, well, it's been a warm week, so red wine is just what we need or a, a nice sweltering evening. <laughs> So there you go, Sue. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go, John. Oh, there you go, Flora. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, everyone. Yeah. Oh, cheers. 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 Nick's drinking. <laughs> cheers. Nick's drinking. Oh, that is really nice. Oh, are you just saying that? No, no, no. I mean it. I like that. Oh, because oh, it's nice. Mick and Synth. Cheers. Mick and Synth. Cheers. You did well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, until next week. Cheerio. Uh, sadly, all good things must come to an end. John and Sue are heading off today. And there they go, on to their next adventure. Bye! <laughs> But I tell you what, what a lovely week and how nice it's been to have some help with progress. It's been really nice. And just look at those gates, aren't they brilliant?